Welcome to the coolest stuff on the planet. Well, hello. Hello. Good to see you. Uh, that's Rachel. Hi, everybody. And this is Matt. Hi, Matt. And uh, this is the coolest stuff on the planet. And today we're headed to Northern Ireland to check out an extreme rock formation called the Giant's Causeway. Yep, it is very cool. This episode is a special one for me, Matt, because I have, in fact, been to the Giant's Causeway. Yes. So I can verify that it is cool. We were just looking at some some, uh, analog pictures, if you will. (laughs) Pre-digital. Wow. They seriously look old. It's cool, though. It's it's like they're from 100 years ago. I know. And they're only from 1998. It's crazy. Uh, But anyway, so the Giant's Causeway, if you don't know, is this um, walkway, air quotes, Mm -hmm. um, made out of volcanic rock well, rock columns that extend um, along the coast of Northern Ireland and out into the ocean. So what's amazing about this walkway? Well, check it out. It's the rock columns. There are over 40,000 of these, and they're almost perfect geometric shapes. Almost. Stressing the almost. Um, And most of which are hexagons, and it really looks like a mason went out, went down there and just carved these things out of the stone. But no, these are formed by natural geological forces. So this is just... This is natural. Or is it? Oh. We'll get to that later. Okay. Um, So, yeah. So, these stones, um, a lot of these stones fit together, especially in the main causeway. They kind of look like it's like a honeycomb pattern. Mm -hmm. Um, And it's really interesting because it it really is so precise in some ways. It's amazing. Um, There are, the the causeway, it works like this. There are three kind of rock um, outcroppings that, that, that go out. Um, the main one's called the Grand Causeway, mm-hmm. um, and that's the one that sticks out the farthest. Um, it's kind of flat and just goes straight out, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, it goes way out into the water. And then there are some other uh, neat uh, volcanic rock formations in the surrounding area, in the cliffs and and etc. Okay, and and a lot of these um, a lot of these formations have kind of fanciful names. They have so fanciful names. We're going over these really quick. You mentioned the honeycomb kind of pattern. Well, they saw that and they named one of these formations the honeycomb makes sense Mm -hmm. there's the giant's boot Mm -hmm. and uh there's also the camel and the organ and there's also the giant's granny to get down to the causeway you basically take um there well there are a couple of paths but there's one main paved road so you walk down and it kind of curves down nicely and you kind of see the coast unfold on your left it's beautiful and there are cliffs above you you can either walk or there's also a shuttle you can take. Personally, I walked because it was amazing. Yeah. Even though it was raining, of course. <laughs> <laughs> but it's still worth it. You're in Ireland. Mm-hmm. Um, so where did this amazing causeway come from? Where, where, what are its origins? Well, there are two common explanations. One is the stuff of legend, and the other one is the stuff of science. Take it away, Rachel. All right. So the scientific explanation of this formation is that about 60 million years ago, volcanic explosions happened underground. They brought molten rock up to the surface. It cooled down rapidly, and then the the lava started to, to crack and to contract, and basically it formed these, these, uh, these hexagonal formations. And some people who are a little more, uh, they tend to go towards the mythical side of things they believe check this out okay <clears throat> i'm just going to i'm just going to jump right into this it's a lot of fun the mythical popular explanation is that the causeway was formed like this mr finn mccool and i'm not making that name up finn mccool who is a man giant he was hanging out in <laughs> ireland and he wanted to cross over into scotland to woo a lady giant and uh well Therefore, Mr. McCool constructed a giant causeway to reach Scotland. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There's also another famous variation on the story where uh, Finn McCool is fighting with a Scottish giant on the other side, and they're fighting back and forth and throwing chunks of earth at each other. <laughs> and then so, uh, so Finn McCool is like, um, I think it goes, you come over here, Scottish dude, and the Scottish guy is like, I can't swim. And so he builds this this pathway, and there's a, there's a whole lot more to the story, but that's the basis yeah. of it, and it's pretty fun. Like it's it's a it's kind of a local. Finn McCool is is a prominent figure in Irish mythology, so it's nice. a it's a fun local Finn legend. Finn I like it. Giant's Causeway is also historically interesting, and uh, Rachel was was telling me about this. 
apparently a 16th century galleon from the Spanish Armada crashed onto the rocks there and uh, right in the bay near the causeway and it sank right there. Shipwreck. Yes, and it's said to be full of gold or when it sank it was full of gold and all other treasures, kind of your classic treasure crash story. Mm -hmm. And uh, so basically when you go to Northern Ireland, don't forget to take your scuba gear is what, what I'm saying to you. <laughs> so you can find some of the treasure. Yes, exactly. Oh, yeah. Something I remember personally about the Giant's Causeway is that, um, well, it does rain a lot in Northern Ireland, mm -hmm. um, but it's also in the water. So the rocks tend to be really slippery. So when you're walking around, you have to be careful. And I remember slipping like multiple times oh, and having to right myself. Um, but it's fun because um, uh, you actually get to walk on it. Mm -hmm. Like it's not roped off. You don't, they're not like, do not walk on rocks. Yeah. <laughs> you get to walk, you like clamber all around these rocks. So That's I crazy. think the inter interactive nature of it was my favorite part probably. Nice. Um, also, I should point out that the rocks, at least the main causeway is not the only thing that you can, that you can do. Um, there are a couple of pathways. You can basically hike up to the top of the cliffs and you get a view of the coastline, the causeway, everything. It's amazing. Nice. That sounds like the place to go. Yeah. So. Well, uh, if you have any more questions about the Giants Causeway or Northern Ireland, check out HowStuffWorks.com. We've got all kinds of great articles on uh, at least Ireland. I know we've got all kinds and the of Causeway stuff. and the yeah, Causeway. We got some stuff on the Causeway. And um, yeah, so that's about it. I think that does it for this week's episode. Yeah. Thanks, and, everybody. Uh, so speaking of cool stuff. Oh yeah. Let's go to our listener mail. Although you know, Matt, I was going to tell you. I think we should probably do viewer mail. Instead oh, viewer of listener mail. Because we have viewers. Oh, well, they right? listen too. How about. Uh, There's yeah, some weird fan hybrid. Mail. So, fan mail? Yeah. No, they're not fans. They're not all fans. Some of them, it's full of hatred. So, how about. Uh, uh, yeah, viewer mail. The is coolest good. mail on the planet? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> let's, do, let's do viewer mail. I know, mail that's for nerdy. Now. Viewer mail. All right. Here we go. Here's a piece of viewer mail. Okay. And this comes from Brent, our viewer Brent. And. Um, Subject is entitled Suggestion for Podcast. Good morning, coolest people. I am traveling to Brazil in a month with a small group of friends, and the reason we're headed there is because our great friends are getting married on July 10th. So we're headed to Sao Paulo for the ceremony, and the following day is a World Cup final, and after that, after the day of the celebration, we're going to top it off by visiting Rio de Janeiro for a few days. The location of the ceremony is at the Igreja Nossa Senhora. Uh, nice. Uh, do Brazil, so it's of Brazil, um, or Our Lady of Brazil. I've been a longtime viewer of the podcast, and I would love if you could do a podcast on any of these things, either the parish, the city of Sao Paulo, the city of Rio de Janeiro, or the frenzy of the World Cup in Brazil in honor of their wedding. Now, check it out. Um, he actually, we're not going to give you guys the website for their wedding. I don't think we should do that. Mm -hmm. But um, he gave us the, web the website of their wedding, and we went on and we commented. So, um, Brent, if you did notice that or if your two friends noticed that, uh, that, that was us. That's from us. Yes. And, uh, and we send our congratulations to those two. Mm -hmm. And I'm sorry, we couldn't do an episode on any of those probably within that time frame. Yeah. But so we wanted to give you and your friends a shout out. And mm -hmm. we, wish, we wish the two of them a very happy life together. That's right. And um, I guess that's it. Goodbye, everybody. We'll see you next week. Yes, probably for some cool stuff. For more on this and thousands of other topics, visit HowStuffWorks.com. And let us know what you think. Email travelpodcast at HowStuffWorks.com. Don't forget to check out our other podcasts free on iTunes. <laughs>